name is Joshua Arshama and I'm a Vitruvian athlete. Um, so my fitness journey started pretty young in terms of an introduction. Uh, I was a dancer at an early age, so I did contemporary and ballet, which a lot of people don't know about me. However, it was not the nicest thing to do growing up in Hackney of London. I encountered a fair share of bullying for, for what I did. I then found myself in a position where I was pretty small and I remember my ballet teacher at the time telling me I was getting too chunky even though I wasn't. I was actually putting on muscle so they were going to take me off of stage and then I soon found a love of weight training, weight lifting, anything that allowed me to put on size. That was kind of where it started for me. I'm sure some people will disagree with my process and how I do it, but I think that by gaining better physical health for me first, it definitely strengthened my mental health. Um, I am someone that did have addictions. <laughs> So there was a period where I first started training. I was drinking crazy, but I was smoking cigarettes, uh, a lot of them. And I didn't want to quit smoking cigarettes, but I wanted to train really hard. And the harder I trained, the easier it was for me to quit smoking. I remember waking up one day and was like, I'm done, never smoked again. Look, there's no secret that when you choose a life of fitness and you know going back to what i said before when you choose to do hard things it's only natural that like your mental resilience is going to get tougher like for instance like even i just recently had a son um three months old and everyone always told me you know when you have a child you're going to lose sleep all these things are going to be challenging and actually <laughs> it's been one of the easiest processes for me because i've done so many hard physical things that getting up in the middle of the night is an easy task. You know, holding on to my son for a couple of hours if he's crying is an easy task. It's not, it's not hard for me. So I feel like the more you choose controlled suffering, which again is something I constantly talk about, I choose to endure suffering so that when the usual things come along that most people would see as suffering Suffering, it's no longer suffering to me. I give uh, a lot of thanks to my wife. Um, in meeting my wife, I, you meet a good woman, she'll turn your life around, and that's kind of what happened for me. So there was this weight, I think, that was on my shoulders for a long period of time, and since meeting her, I felt like that weight was lifted, and she kind of opened my eyes up to being able to achieve more than I thought I was capable of. And I think once I had that awakening that actually I can do a lot more than I think I can, um, things started falling into place. is the most important thing through training, through life, through any activity or endeavor you do. If there's something you want to seek out bad enough, find a way of reaching for discipline. I'm probably going through or have been going through one of what people would call the most challenging periods in terms of you know having a son and, and, and my lifestyle changing. It would have been very easy for me to just be like, you know, I can't make it to the gym today. I can't do this or, or whatnot, but I was disciplined. It was the it was a life I chose. For me, it's all about choosing something that you want to do. So for instance, I want to compete at the CrossFit Games. So when I wake up on those mornings and I don't want to train or I don't want to do those things, are they going to be thought provoking? Are they going to get me to the CrossFit Games? For me, it really is about um, just reaching in for discipline. I've done this every day now for the last six years, so I'm gonna lean on my, my habits. I balance it with the Vitruvian. <laughs> um, cliche, but that's what helps me. You know, there's, there's, there's been moments, there's been days where I, I couldn't get into the gym. I, um, I've had to do more at home, and I'm fortunate enough where I have a few machines in terms of cardio machines in my garage, and you know, I have the Vitruvian with me, so um, that has helped keep me accountable. Um, and that's where I reach into the discipline because I know that I have the tools 
at my fingertips whenever I want them. So just use them. it actually very easy so what I've been doing is I've been taking what would be my typical programming and then loading it into the app creating my own workout you can turn three movements into a superset so it loads and goes right into it you can break it up you can adjust rest minutes on each one I'm an athlete and I train professionally my wife is not um, she's able to use the machine I'm able to use the machine it's very diverse in, in how it can be used aside from the machine what I would like people to recognize when it comes to fitness is you are on your own path, um, especially in the sport that I'm in. Everything is, even if you come to the gym, it seems to be competition driven. And I've taken myself away from that recently because what I do and what someone else does is not the same. We're very different. It's very easy to get sucked into, well, this person looks better than me or this person trains better than me. But I'm sure there's another person to the right of you that's thinking, I wish I was training or active like that person. So anyone looking to get into fitness, start your journey with every step you take you'll get better and if you can incorporate the vitruvian because it helps oh and now i'm gonna get a little emotional i'll rank these in threes um and my number one i don't know if you can call it an achievement but the number one thing that happened to me was me and my wife because that changed the course that i was on um and i just give thanks to that with every day the second thing was having my son um, because I was someone that was somewhat selfish and um, not very understanding of other people's time and opinions and I always thought things revolved around me and now they don't and that changed my outlook on life. My third was winning the CrossFit Games. Winning the CrossFit Games uh, is not easy and it took I don't call them sacrifices because anything you love is not a sacrifice, but it took a lot of effort to do things that weren't natural to me um, to achieve that goal. I had to, the first time I went to the CrossFit Games, which was in 2022, um, I had to leave my wife for a long period of time to be in San Diego and train. And that put a strain on our relationship, but I knew what I wanted and we made that happen. So getting myself to a position where I was able to adapt and, and then go on and win the CrossFit Games was definitely a big achievement of mine. So the order would be obviously my wife, my child in the Games, but if we talk about athletic abilities and my career, obviously winning the Games was a, a huge turning point, especially being, I believe, the only British male to hold a gold medal from the CrossFit Games now, and um, I plan to be the only British male to hold two gold medals. So um, we'll make that happen in 2024.